You know, sometimes people start using a word on the streets and it's cool, but then it gets reappropriated and appropriated and it's no longer cool. It's almost corny. Example, girlfriend. When Pebbles sang it back in the day, it was cool. In 2022, not so much. Another example, the word woke. The original meaning was very cool, but in the mouths of pundits and politicians, it's definitely corny. You know, cartoonist, actor, and activist Keith Knight is making sure woke stays true to its original meaning. He talked about that and more with Vern Glenn in San Francisco. Check it out. Tell your story, because if you don't tell your story, uh, someone else will, will do it, and they will get it wrong. Keith Knight has been telling his story, captured in books, but his thought-provoking truth largely appears in his comic strip, known as The K Chronicles. In it, the cartoonist lampoons the social, often racial issues he runs across. It compels readers to take a good look in the mirror. I found him putting pen to paper signing his work near Ghirardelli Square at the Cartoon Art Museum on Beach Street. From now through the end of June, this doesn't just feature some of his 17 years in San Francisco. How about all of it? How does it hit you to kind of look around every direction? You just throw a rock in any direction, hit a wall, and your life is up there. It's, you know, I didn't realize the the meaning of it until I had kids, and then, like, suddenly, you know, my kids are reading my comics and it's a great way to sort of have uh, a document of my existence. And I guess it doesn't hurt to have a TV show. Today. Sure. Ah, well, yes, the TV show. Knight's Life is on Hulu. The show based in San Francisco is called Woke. Woke is being co-opted by folks that don't like the word, don't like the 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 idea of people being, uh, you know, acti activists or caring about anything. Does this photo look right? Mm-hmm. Did you guys lighten my photo? I, I look like Sammy Sosa. Uh, that's just a mock-up for publicity, so. Am I too black for my own comic strip? No, trust me. No one's gonna ever accuse you of being too black, okay? I'm sorry, what? Even to this day, I have people sort of writing online, why didn't anyone tell me that Woke was funny? So you're Keith Knight? I am, yeah. Oh, that's funny, I didn't think you'd be... tall. A certain segment of the population, i.e. white people, um, see the word Woke and go, oh, I don't want yeah. to preach to, oh, I don't want to... And then, you know, someone, somehow, some way, convinces them to take a look at the show and they're like, oh, Ooh, so it's mm -hmm. making fun of it, you know. Right. We make fun of just every angle of it. Don't move. Don't move. Central lead the suspect. Six foot tall black male. What's in the bag? He's got a weapon. No, no, no. Just the same one. No, no, no. You got the wrong guy. It seems to me, it was important to you to be really kind of socially conscious of what's out there. And I don't mean, you know, law and order, rip from the headlines, we're gonna address this. But, but you, you, know, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's amazing to me is, you know, a lot of stuff we put in, that like starts to happen. And we're like, oh my goodness. Like, I mean, we finished season one in February, 2020, and then everything shut down. And then George Floyd happened. And oh. then everybody was like, when the, sh when, our show came out. They're like, "How did you know? How did you, you know?" Yeah. And it's just like we didn't know. It's just it's it's evergreen. Police man did a number on you, didn't he? <laughs> Good thing too. We've been trying to holler at your ass for a minute. Now you can finally hear. Us. Would I be right if I said this is the kind of show, this is the kind of series where one moment you could be, <laughs> and then that, <laughs> oh, you can laugh. And then boom, it's thought provoking on what, whoa. whoa. Totally, it, totally. That's my, that's my modus operandi. Is that the way you say it? It's like, it's like tickle, 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 punch. <laughs> and uh, that's the way I've always operated um, is sort of, uh, I think the medicine goes down with a little bit of sweetness. Uh -huh. So I use humor to address all these different um, 
uh, issues. Meantime, between his role as father and husband, his recent travel commitments to events like WonderCon in Anaheim to promote season two of Woke was dropped early April, he manages to get some sleep in. Before we parted ways, he that. let me know Probably. this was not his first rodeo on this show. Last time I was on Black Renaissance, huh. I remember this was years ago. Okay. And apparently um, I asked, I asked him, so when does this come on? And he said, Saturday at 6, 6 a.m. or something <laughs> crazy like that. Right. And I said, 6 a.m. <laughs> and I did a comic strip about it and I said, Who's, who's up at 6 a.m.? And I said, uh, uh, speed freaks up from the night before. <laughs> and so then I was doing another interview a few weeks later after um, the comic strip ran and, and Black Renaissance ran. And I was doing the interview and some guy walked by and says, hey, I'm not a speed freak. <laughs> Vern Glenn for Black Renaissance. I cannot believe he was on BR already. Keith's exhibit, Woke, the new four-letter word, is at San Francisco's Cartoon Art Museum through June 26. For tickets, visit cartoonart.org. And don't miss Keith's TV comedy series, Woke. It's on Hulu. For dates and showtimes, check your local listings.